I want you to remember what we've been looking at most recently, which is that we have these ideas called integers, right? And we had this, um, this synonym, a phrase for integers. We called them directed numbers. Do you remember that? I think you looked at a sheet with Mrs. Bartlett yesterday, right? Uh, why do we call them that? Why do we call them directed numbers? What's that about? Yeah, because they can go up and down in the direction. Yeah, fantastic. It's like, you know what? It's not just size. It's not just how big something is or how many of something I have. I can say that way or this way, and they're different to each other. We said up, down, we said left, right, we said profit, loss. What were some of the other opposites that we had that we looked at in like the first couple of exercises? Yeah, Nikhil? Deposit withdrawal. Deposit withdrawal, that's another money word. You can say east, west, north, south, anything you like, okay? Now, so far we've just been focusing on like, okay, what these things are and how they relate to one another. So do you remember exactly what you did? Last lesson, just yesterday, what was the skill that we focused on? What was like, what was the heading over that? Do you remember? What do we do with integers? Amy? Ordering integers. Yeah, very good. It's we want to know about like what order do they go in, which one comes first, which one's bigger, which one's smaller. Okay. We just want to understand each different one, but now we're gonna put them all together. So this is what your heading should be. The heading is adding and subtracting. Integers. Okay, now what does that have anything to do with what we just did? Okay, or we just watched. Adding and subtracting integers, you can see now I'm talking about operations. Now I'm not just like, hey, what are these numbers? Can you tell me a bit about them? But what happens when they interact together? When you put a few in a pile and, and like see what, what they do with each other? Okay, so I'm gonna look through with you uh, one, two, three, four operations. Okay, and we'll start really, really simply. And then for each one, I'm going to give you an analogy that will be based on this video that will this pair of videos that we just watched so you can understand what's going on. Okay. So firstly, we're going to start with a nice easy one. What we've been doing for years, actually. If you add a positive number, those are just the, normal, the numbers we're used to before we even knew what integers were, right? If you add a positive number, Like say you started with zero, like zero is there in the middle. If I add three, that's a positive number, adding a positive number. What's the result? Like the result is going to be, well the answer is three, which is bigger, right? I've increased in size, in other words, okay? So if you add a positive number, um, you increase. Okay, now let's think about this in the context of up, right? What happened right at the very beginning when the, um, the, the pair of people came from the like, retirement village or something like that to pick up, oh, what was his name? Who remembers his name? Yes. It's uh, Mr. Richardson. Mr. Richardson, right. they, they come to pick him up and then what does he do? What does he do? He, he goes back inside and, yeah, give me. He pretends he's saying goodbye to the house and then flies away with the horse. Yeah, very good. He adds, he adds all of these balloons and that's why he goes up. up. Roll credits. Okay, so therefore my analogy for adding a positive number, which leads to increase, is if you add balloons to something, right? And I think we should we should remember it's helium balloons, only helium balloons are lighter than normal air, so they're gonna go up. If you add balloons, you go up. That's pretty simple. And that's exactly what he does. Okay. Now, with your number line over there on the right hand side, if you have another color, that'd be nice, but if you don't, it's alright. I want us to draw a picture of what's going on here. What is this operation and this analogy? What does it look like on the number line? We just said we would start with like say zero, okay? If I added three, I start here, and then I go one, two, three. Does that make sense? I'm adding a positive number, and therefore I increase. I go to the right. Does that make sense? Going to the right means I'm increasing, I'm getting bigger. So far so good? Okay. Now, if you can add positive numbers, you can do other things to positive numbers, right? What's the opposite operation of adding? Yes, can Subtracting. Subtracting, very good. So if I now think about subtracting, if you subtract a positive number, and again, we've been doing this for years, then obviously you're not going to increase, are you? If you start at zero and you subtracted three instead of adding it, you would end up at negative three, which is smaller than where you started with. Does that make sense? So you decrease. Okay, now I want you to think to the second video, right? The second video. 
Mr. Fredrickson has all this trouble getting his, his house, you know, to lift off again. Why is that? Why does he have so much trouble um, actually getting him to lift off again? Maria? Okay, number one, he's got furniture. We'll get to the furniture in a minute. But there's something else that uh, Russell does that's kind of equivalent to this that causes him a problem. Yeah, Ben. Yeah, the balloons have gone, right? Balloons have been removed. Now, think about this, right? If you remove balloons... Because the balloons are the things that are buoyant and they're keeping you up. You remove balloons, that means you're going to go down. Right? And of course, he's at rest, so that's why he stays put. But if he was in the air and you know balloons started flying off, like I think there's a storm scene elsewhere, then that's going to cause you problems, right? You're going to go down. Okay. Now, again, let's draw another number line here. We're going to draw number lines for each of these um, four. We've done the first one already. If I draw a second one, Make sure it goes forever. Uh, I'm going to put zero because it's the most important number. I'm not going to label the rest of my numbers. I just want the really critical ones. If I this time subtract three, which direction am I going to go in? Yeah, thank you. I'm going to go to the left, right? Left and down, they're kind of synonymous in this context, right? So I'm going to go one, two, three to the left, okay? So you can see what this subtraction does for us. One, two, three. I'm taking away three, I'm subtracting three, and that lands me on negative three. Now, can you note that, by the way? Maybe you want to even write that. I'll write it with you. That we've, we've used, we have used the same symbol for these two things, right? There's subtract, and that's an action word. What, what name do we give to action words? Starts with a V. We call them verbs, right? So subtract is a verb. But this thing here, which we use the same symbol for, that doesn't mean subtract. That means negative, negative right? And negative is not a verb. Negative is an... Yeah. Is it? In this context, it's an adjective, right? It's describing a number, okay? So negative is an adjective here. Cool, I'm totally gonna run that space. I'll see what I can do, okay? So I've got two things, same symbol, but two different meanings, right? This is something you do to a number and this is something about the number, describing the number. Okay, excellent. Now, here we go. Now we're getting interesting. I want to think now again to the second video. And we see Mr. Fredericks and he's like, oh no, Russell's flying away. And he's stuck. So he has to resort to something in order to actually go after Russell. What does he do? Charlie. He empties all the furniture and stuff. He empties the furniture. Now let's think about this, right? He's not adding balloons. He's not removing balloons. He is removing, um, I guess we could say furniture. More generally speaking, it's anything with weight, weight or mass, right? So I'm going to say, I'll, I'll say weight. If you remove weight, then what happens to the house? We saw it. It went up, right? So you remove weight, you go up. Now, what would that mean? What would that mean for our numbers and our integers? What's the equivalent operation that goes with what happens in the movie. So I want to suggest. Uh, I can see a parallel here. When you remove something, like in fact, remove is just another word for subtract. Do you agree with that? Yeah. yeah. All right, subtract. <coughs> Bali, were you going to suggest something? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was just going to say subtract from a negative number. Yeah, very good. Add a positive, subtract a positive, this time, if you subtract a negative, subtracting a negative, now this is weird, right? Look at, look at the pattern. Look at the pattern. What happens? Darcy? You get a positive. Okay. Rather than saying you get a positive, right? I want to think about the differences between the numbers and what's the action that results, right? So I increase or I decrease. This time, I'm going to increase. Do you see that? I'm going to go up, yeah? So you increase okay now what does this look like on the number line okay we'll go back with the same number we'll go back with three okay so oh uh, yeah i can just fit it there's my number line i've got my arrows it goes forever what's the most important number on the number line zero, zero. Let's put it okay which direction am i going to go in on the number line i'm going to go to the oh, right. right aren't i <coughs> increasing see that increasing so i'm going to go one two three i'm going to end up on three but importantly, I'm not doing this. I'm not adding a positive number. I'm doing something else. I am 
subtracting a negative, right? So when I go to the right, I'm actually going one, two, three, but the operation and the number are different. I'm subtracting a negative number. Okay, you end up at the same spot. You're actually doing something different though. Okay. <laughs> it's a relief on my board because we're right at the end. One last one. I think you can probably follow the pattern. What's left? What's the only thing that I have to do now? I'm going to, yeah, add, subtract, subtract. If I add a negative, if I add a negative, <clears throat> what's going to happen? You guys can see the pattern? If I added weights to the house, what's it going to do? Go it's going to go down, right? That means I'm going to decrease. So this would be adding weights, right? Add weight. Lastly, we can draw the number line. This number line is effectively going to look like that second one, isn't it? It's going to the left. But again, please remember, we're doing something different, okay? We're actually dealing with negative numbers now. So I'm gonna go zero, the most important number. One, two, three. And the way that I get there is not by subtraction, but by adding a negative number, okay? Now, this is a weird idea, right? We've got all of these symbols flying around. And a lot of the results seem to be the same, right? Adding and subtracting a negative, adding a positive, subtracting a negative, they, they land you on the same spot, okay? But I, I really, really critically want you to understand, they're not actually the same. Something different is happening underneath. Just like balloon, adding balloons and removing weight are not the same action, right? Even if they lead to the same result, okay?